Solitaire is not only a game. He loved Solitaire. He first met it at work. One of the few games available on all work computers. And boredom led him to it. He didn't remember when he first tried it. He understood the concept and gameplay quickly. He couldn't help the great feeling when he solved the puzzle he wanted to play faster and faster. He couldn't play the game at work anymore. It was so addictive it made him ignore work itself. His manager chastised him once, and there is no twice at his job. He wanted the job and couldn't learn another at his age. He was disciplined, so he stopped playing at work, but every moment was annoying. So, he decided to work harder to distract himself. The manager batted himself for chastising him since his method turned out very effective, and he started using it on others, even innocent ones. Never mind, he told himself. Another technique to make our lives miserable, but it doesn't matter. When he comes home, all will be all right. When he came home, he was alone, with no family or friends. Just a new computer that outstands every other cheap piece of furniture and a yellow white that covers his wall. The light is not working for weeks, but it doesn't matter. The computer monitor's light is enough. He grabbed whatever food from the street and ate while the computer came to life. He sat gleefully in front of the computer. His weight made him buy a better chair, but the last one broke and nearly killed him. A brand new computer and a new chair. Who said this game was terrible for me? It's turning this house upside down for the better. He sat and started clicking. The cards magically aligned to start the game. Then he started playing and solved the puzzle. Then he does it again, and again, and again. And only the heavy eyebrows that he couldn't lift anymore brought him to bed. Work, eat, solitaire. Repeat. That's his life in the last half a year or a year. There was a trance lately while he was playing. He was doing it unconsciously, his hands moved alone, and the magic was happening in front of him. He only needed the intention, and the game started playing itself. He lost control over his senses. Only the vision matters. He can't hear the clicking of the mouse anymore. Time flies by slowly and peacefully, for he has to sleep again. So far, he is doing only two hours of sleep daily and knows he is on the brink of physical burnout. It was so until one night, while he was playing, his brain tranced. He was so disconnected he just lost himself, and his brain wandered away from his home, his bad memories, his crushing routine life, and all the pain of this world. He was somewhere else, warm and comfortable, and it was not material. Then he heard a voice, not his own, saying, until when? Then he came back rushing to reality like a high ocean wave hitting your body and eyes harder. He stopped what he was doing, stood, went to the other room corner, put his back on the wall, and started crying. He cursed and cried for a while until his energy wore out. Then he went to bed and slept. The day after, he felt anew he wanted more. He is healed. He wanted to live and enjoy living. He wanted love and family. He wanted to escape this sad house. Then he seized the day. Occasionally, he plays solitaire. He can't play much anymore. He can't believe how he wasted years on this game. 